things. Got some snack bars. I like Laravar is my favorite snack bar. A lot of people uh, want to, you know, take a protein bar and I always get concerned about that. If you look at most protein bars, they have a big thing on the front that says, you know, 40 grams of protein or something like that. Um, that's great. But if you flip it over and look into the ingredients, what you end up finding is that they have a lot of sugars in them. Uh, anything ending in the words O-S-E, O-S, those are all sugars. And a lot of them are not natural sugars that they add in there, like high fructose corn syrup, for example. Um, you'll also find uh, a lot of partially hydrogenated oils and things like that that gets added into those bars. Larabar contains all natural ingredients. This is the apple pie Larabar. And the ingredients are dates, almonds, unsweetened apples, walnuts, raisins, and a little bit of cinnamon. All natural stuff. Uh, this is tropical fruit tart. We have a few more ingredients there. Dates, pineapples, unsweetened coconuts, almonds, extra virgin coconut oil, cashews, orange juice concentrate, and orange peel. I, again, it's just all natural ingredients. Um, that's not going to give me the 40 grams of protein. Uh, but at the end of the day, my body knows what those things are. It knows what a cashew is. Uh, it doesn't really know what a par partially hydrogenated oil is. So that's what I try and, and take in. Uh, I got some milk here. Uh, I got organic milk. I don't drink milk, but my kids do. Um, you know, one of the things I was talking about earlier with respect to eggs is the type of food that the food we eat eats. In other words, what did the cows eat that made this milk? And that's or, you know, what, what kind of hormones were they given, those types of things. Those are really things that I think you should be concerned about. And so when it comes to my kids, I want to make sure I'm giving them the best possible things that I can. And organic milk is one of the things that I splurge a little bit on at the store. Um, for me, I use almond milk. Uh, this is the Almond Breeze. I get the unsweetened original flavor. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It has the consistency of a fat-free milk. Uh, very good. I like it again for Shakeology. Whey protein is pretty much what I use it for. I put a little almond butter in there too. I didn't buy any almond butter today because we already had some. Um, a little coffee. I got some sweetener for the coffee. This is a stevia based sweetener. It's not necessarily the one I normally use, uh, but not too bad. Stevia is an all natural plant uh, that they use to make the sweeteners from. It's going to be uh, better for you than sugar much better for you than uh, one of the many fake sugars out there, equal Splenda, sweet and low, that type of thing. So uh, Stevia is, is a good alternative for sweeteners. Uh, finally, we've got a little mustard and a little ketchup. And let me talk about ketchup for a second. This is again, organic tomato ketchup. Uh, I know that sounds awfully silly to spend extra money on organic tomato ketchup. Uh, in fact, this organic tomato ketchup was 30 cents cheaper than the same size bottle of Heinz. The reason that I buy the organic tomato, or uh, organic ketchup rather, is because it does not have high fructose corn syrup in it, and Heinz does. Um, this took a little bit of getting used to. It tastes different than Heinz, you know? Everybody, I think, if you're like me, you were raised with Heinz ketchup, um, and that's what you're used to tasting, and when you have something different, it takes a little getting used to, and there was a little bit of a challenge with the kids, and that's why I left this one for last, to get them to switch over to this ketchup. And what I did was I just educated them. You know, we went online, we did a little bit of research, research and we, I had them learn what high fructose corn syrup is, why it's not good for you, uh, all the various problems that are associated with high fructose corn syrup, and I just simply explained to them, look, you know, you can have this or you can have that it's you know it's kind of up to you if you're not going to eat ketchup and you're not going to eat things that we would normally put ketchup on then I'll, I'll, I'll buy you the Heinz I will uh, somewhat reluctantly but you make the choice and now I have the problem that every time we go out to eat they don't want to use the Heinz ketchup and they're asking the waitress if she has some organic ketchup which of course they never do but that is in my opinion a pretty good problem to have um, so that's how I really combated uh, a lot of those issues with the kids, is just really educating them, you know, trying to just take the time and explain to them, this is why we're eating certain foods. My daughter now has pretty much switched to almond milk. She still likes milk, regular milk with a lot of things, 
but uh, when she has cereal in the morning, she likes to have almond milk. Um, she takes Shakeology as well, and she likes to have almond milk in her Shakeology. And it's really just a matter of understanding uh, what the healthy choice is. And I always tend to think that once people have the information, they always make a better decision. You know, I was never somebody who ate really healthy until I took the time to understand why certain things were healthier than others. And once I had the information, it was really easy for me to make the choice. Because I just knew, you know, once I understood the difference between an organic egg and a regular egg, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for the organic eggs. Because in my mind, it's really preventative. It's a preventative cost. In other words, if I, if I eat healthy and I put good foods in my body, when I get older, I won't be sick. And, I, I, and I, since I've started eating this way, uh, the, in, the number of times that I've gotten sick has gone way, way down. So anyway, that is just sort of a little bit of a mix of the stuff that I picked up from the store today. I know there's a ton of other stuff that we regularly eat, and, and uh, we'll try to film some more videos on that stuff too. But I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. My email address is dave, D-A-V-E, at thefitclubnetwork.com. Check out our website at www.thefitclubnetwork. And check out our message boards at www.getfitwithmonica. Anyway, have a great day and uh, eat healthy. Thanks.